Hi boys and girls. Today I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit. So today is a special day in the church. It is the day that we celebrate Pentecost. Now Pentecost is a time that we remember that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to his followers just like he promised. So we know that Jesus died and arose from the dead on Easter and after that time he was still on earth with his disciples and he was spending time with them and teaching them but eventually it was time for Jesus to go back to heaven and the disciples were sad about this but he told them that he would send them a comforter and he did a little bit after that he did he sent the Holy Spirit to them and that is why we celebrate Pentecost to remember that so Jesus didn't only send the Holy Spirit to be with his followers back in Bible times, but he also sends the Holy Spirit to us today, if you are a follower of Jesus. So I was thinking about how to explain to you what the Holy Spirit does for us. And I thought about explaining it kind of like the way we use glasses to see. So I am somebody who can't see clearly without glasses. When I was a kid, about 10, I couldn't see the blackboard at school and my mom took me to the eye doctor and sure enough, he said I was nearsighted, which means I could see close up, but not far away. Everything far away was blurry and I couldn't see what, what things were. So since I was 10 years old, I've had to wear glasses. Now I know most of you don't see me wearing glasses very often. And that's because when I was a teenager, I decided I wanted to do, wear contact lenses instead of glasses. And those are little pieces of plastic that eye doctors make that fit right on your eye. You have to put them right on your eyeball and it helps you to see just like a pair of glasses. So without my contacts or my glasses, I can't do some of the things that I can do with them. I wouldn't be able to drive a car without my glasses because I couldn't see clear enough to drive safely. I wouldn't be able to see a movie at a movie theater, or I wouldn't be able to see, if I was at church, I wouldn't be able to see the monitors up front to see the words to songs and, and scripture verses. I would probably even have a hard time seeing Pastor Dale's face clearly because everything is blurry far away for me. So I'm really glad I have glasses because they help me to see things clearly. And that's what the Holy Spirit does for us when we become a follower of Jesus. When we become a follower of Jesus, he sends the Holy Spirit to us and the Holy Spirit lives within us and helps us to see clearly what Jesus wants for us. So I wanted to read you a passage of scripture from the book of Ephesians, which is in the New Testament. Now, you're probably seeing me pick up another pair of glasses and you always see me put these glasses on when I read from the Bible. That's because as I've gotten older, not only can I see far away, but now I can't see up close either. And that happens to people as they get older. So I have these special reader glasses that help me see the little words in the Bible because otherwise I couldn't even see them to read them to you. So I'm gonna read uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18 and part of verse 19 I pray that the eyes of your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the wonderful future he has promised to those he called I want you to realize what a rich and glorious inheritance he has given to his people I pray that you will begin to understand the incredible greatness of his power for us who believe in him so that verse is telling us and that was written by the Apostle Paul. So he wants us to know that he he's praying that the eyes of our hearts are open and that we are able to see the greatness of God and all the wonderful things that God has planned for us as his followers. And the way that we can do that is by having the Holy Spirit in us. So when you decide you're beco to become a follower of Jesus, you you say you're going to live your life for Jesus and Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to us and that Holy Spirit helps us to see how to follow Jesus. It helps us see clearly the plans and what Jesus wants for us. Just like my glasses help me see clearly, the Holy Spirit living inside of you can help you see what God wants for us, can help you in making decisions, 
in how you act, how you treat other people, all those things can be helped by having the Holy Spirit in our hearts. So I just wanted to explain to you a little bit about Pentecost because that's one of the things we celebrate at church that I'm not sure kids always know why. So that is why we're celebrating that today, to remember the wonderful gift that God gave to his followers and to us in the Holy Spirit. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to us. Thank you for sending us comfort and the ability to see clearly what you want for us and what you, how you want us to live our lives. By you, having the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we can see the wonderful things you have planned for us and what a great thing it is to be a follower of you. Amen. Have a wonderful week, boys and girls, and I'll see you next week. Bye.